In some Indigenous Australian communities, the dog is far more than a pet. It's a spiritual being. To learn more, I met with Jeremiah Baker, a Yolngu man from East Arnhem Land. Jeremiah, how important is the totem in your culture in North East Arnhem Land? Well, in North East Arnhem Land, my people are known as Yolngu people. And the totem plays a very, very big part in our culture. In our everyday interactions, in our ceremonies, it is our guide in how to preserve Mother Earth. There are many totems in each tribe and clan, but which is the most dominant species? As in a apex predator, mm -hmm. as well as an influencer of the nature. Okay. So we are guided by our native species, from plants to um, animals, that shows us who should be cared for yes. and who should not perish on this world. It's pretty much our guide in every aspect as in body, spirit, and as well as connecting to other animals. When I say spirit, it is in our culture that we are represented as the totem when we pass on in our funeral ceremonies. Yes. It's our spiritual guide that takes us back to the dream time. If the process is done right, we may come back as our totem. Yes, yours being the dog. Yep. So what happens when a dog or a warung gets sick or they pass in a community? How does it impact on the people? Well, it's like um, hearing somebody has passed on you will notice a lot of people will give condolences okay, yeah. to each uh, to the owner. Yes. Just like a, a human being would pass away. Yeah, right. Because knowing the or most of the important significance a totem has yes. uh, in our culture, everybody already knows that. Yeah, of course. So their engagement and the condolence they give out and the uh, comfort. Mm. It is uh, at another level. You will never see that anywhere outside of Arnhem Land, which I can say comfortably, because I haven't seen that anywhere. You're right. Yo, and except back home. Warung is your totem. Same goes with every other species. Yes. Um, it all depends on if your role, a uh, certain role towards that totem. Yeah. Later this episode, Jeremiah explains to me the challenges faced by dog owners living in remote Indigenous communities, particularly relating to the diets of their canine companions. 